Hey guys, what's going on? Luke from UK Six Door TV. Today we've got the Tyrepore T8. Um, something I'm pretty excited about. Um, I was really impressed by the build quality, particularly on the, um, the T6. And um, the T8 has just arrived. It's 150 watts, which, you know, let's not get into that debate right now, but it's a powerful, powerful device. Um, pretty much any kind of vapor is gonna get some kind of use out of this. Um, and I'd imagine they've improved a lot of things over the T6, which I already loved. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's go ahead, crack into the box and see what we get. So we've got our Clyport T8 here in its box. Um, I really dig the box actually. It's kind of a, it's a thick cardboard, but it's got a kind of a wood grain look on it. I really, really dig it. Um, we've got a little silver sticker here just to indicate this is the silver model. It also comes in a black, uh, which looks equally as gorgeous. Some specs here on the back. Uh, we'll go through all these obviously in this close up, as well as a uh, scratch and check sticker as well. So you can make sure the one you get is authentic. Let's go ahead and, and uh, just crack into the box now and see what we have inside. So the lid comes off, it's nicely padded as well, as is the rest of the box, which you'll see as well. So the first thing we have here is a warranty card. Now this is, um, it's kind of like a credit card. It's, um, that can go in a wallet or something, or you can just leave it in the box. Um, but I'm guessing this number here that's printed on the card, you will need for any warranty claims. So this is very important. You also have just a card here, which is a USB kind of notice, just to let you know that the included cable is for software updates not for charging, you charge this. In a similar way to the Sigeli 100, you remove the batteries and charge them yourself. And then we have the standard kind of quick start guide, user manual, which we're gonna just go ahead and place there and go through ourselves. So here we have the actual contents. Mod itself, we'll get out in a minute. Let's just go through everything else, because everything is very, very nicely packaged and it's actually um, pretty difficult to get them all out, but that's a good thing. Um, in here, this little um, this little case. It's really difficult to get in. We've got it. We actually get some spares. This little bag of spares. And I kind of like the fact it comes in this little case. Um, it means you won't lose them. So you can keep that in the box and you know they're always there. USB cable, which uh, is actually quite a nice addition because this one is retractable. So uh, very, very good for traveling. Make sure I go back in the right way. Up here, we have a, a small ribbon to pull this out. Actually comes with a screwdriver, which is kind of nice. Uh, and that makes adjusting the 510 pin on here all that much easier. And we'll go ahead and show you now. You can see how well packaged this is. It really is snug. So we'll take this, we'll move the box to the side. We're done with that now. I want to take a quick look around here. So here we have our OLED display, and believe me, you'll see when I put some batteries in, uh, this screen is really, really, really nice. It's one of the best displays I've seen on a mod. Uh, we have some venting over here, and here's the back plate. Uh, it's got this kind of dimpled design, really, really, really nice. By the way, this whole mod is a solid 6061 aluminium. Really, really solid build. Uh, I'm really, really impressed, actually. But this back plate, um, Another reason I dig it so much, no screws, completely flush, doesn't wobble about, there's absolutely no play on that whatsoever. It's really, really well built. It is just a couple of very strong magnets holding that thing in place. And inside, very, very clean, two slots for your two batteries. On the side, down, up, and fire. Our 510 connection on the top, and that is adjustable with the screwdriver included in the box. Unfortunately, it isn't spring-loaded, but hey, you can't have everything. Uh, and it really is a quick adjustment with the screwdriver. Plus, if you're using it with the same atomizer for uh, any period of time, you adjust it once and it's set for the, uh, the rest of the time you're using that atty. So not really, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and place the uh, back plate on. Make sure it goes on the right way. Not that way. Back on this way. Snaps in like that and it is absolutely solid. It's one of the best back plates I've seen. 
And uh, as for the bottom there, a little bit more venting and a USB port there to use the included cable to do some updates when Clipo will release uh, firmware updates for this thing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now whilst we've got the close-up camera, uh, the close-up lens on is to go ahead and stick some batteries in here and switch it on. So I'm going to bring in some VTC5s. Now these go in um, not parallel to each other so they go in opposite directions with a negative size on the springs. place, got the screen doing something, I always get that wrong, there we go, and then we have our display, so we're going to get some close up shots of this to let you see it in some, some detail, but it really is as simple as this, push the up button to adjust the wattage up, and push it down, and you've got all your relevant information there on the screen from your wattage, your resistance, your battery life and also the temperature of the board as well, which is something Clyde Pro are doing. Um, it's kind of nice, it just lets you know uh, the operating temperature of your device and um, if it gets too hot, this thing will shut off automatically anyway. But as you can see from that display, it really is, it's just so nice to look at. It's a really, really detailed display. It's OLED, so it's gonna be highly viewable, even in direct sunlight as well. So guys, uh, that's a quick sort of close-up look at the Clyde 4 T8. What we're going to do now is we're going to build a, uh, a dripper, go back to the wide shot and we'll uh, give it a vape. So back at the wide shot, we've got our T8 here with the Vertex V2 attached and we've got a 0.3, let's see what this is running, 0.37 it's reading out as, 0.37 ohm build and we've juiced it up already with some classified Keen, which is kind of like an apple, kiwi, blueberry kind of fruit mix really 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 good uh, I love kind of crisp fruit flavors and this is just the definition of crisp fruit flavors cool so I'm gonna do a couple of different uh, hits for you with some different setups so we can use the vertex for everything but we're gonna do one with like how I've got it now with the air holes mostly closed off I've got it I've left about a third open and I've got it at 40 watts so it's around a quarter of what this thing can do just over a quarter um, but this is kind of this is the kind of way I would run it most of the day if I if this was my setup. Let's go ahead and see what this does at 40 watts. As you can see, a really, really good cloud size, even from just having 40 watts of power output. Um, I normally run around that kind of level 30, 40 watts with my airflow kind of closed off because I enjoy that restrictive kind of long hit. Uh, and that brings out the best flavour for me. Um, so if you want to try that kind of setup with with your own uh, with your own devices, go ahead and give it a go. I really really enjoy. It. But what I'll do now is I will. I'm not going up to 150 watts, just to put that out there. Um, but I will do. Uh, I'll do 70 watts because this will give you an idea of what this thing can do when you haven't even reached half of its power. So 70 watts, 75 would be the halfway point. So let's do 70. I will just quickly adjust my airflow. Because at 70 watts, you need a bit more airflow than what I would normally use. All right. So 70 watts, not even halfway. Not even halfway. That was like a one second pull, if that. Let's try again. Well, there's some serious clouds. And um, again, I just need to stress 70 watts, not even half of what this thing can output. Um, personally, I, would, I don't even go up to anywhere near 70 watts day to day. Um, so I can imagine if I owned one of these things, yeah, that is future proof in terms of because um, lately sort of over the last year or so people's kind of wattage needs seem to have been going up as more people come to some of the bigger tanks more people move on to dripping um, and when you get to into dripping you need you start to need a little bit more than 10 watts 15 watts um, I, I tend to st stick between 30 to 50 depending on what kind of atti I'm using um, so having a box more capable of 150 certainly means you know I'm future proofed 
if my wattage needs to keep going up. Um, am I convinced that more power means better? No, not necessarily. But that's not what this thing is about. This thing, whilst it is 150 watts, it just reeks of quality. It's, you know, it's a solid aluminium, doesn't feel cheap. Um, that back plate, again, I, <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love how there's no screws to mess around with. It makes charging really easy. You literally just pop that off, take your batteries out, charge them up, stick them back in, and you're good to vape. Um, the screen as well, absolutely love it. It's OLED, it's easy to see. You can look at it from any angle. You can see it in direct sunlight. Um, that's the advantage it has over you know typical LED screens. Um, and it's you know it's nice and big, plenty of information on there. I love the ohm reading going to two decimal points rather than just one like you see on most other devices. It's a killer piece of kit, I have to say. It's, it's kind of the whole package. Um, this will serve pretty much any kind of vapor, whether you're vaping at 10 watts and you just want battery life that will take you through three, four, five days without needing to charge it, or you're a cloud chase and you're looking to go 100, 125, 150 watts, this has got you covered. So yeah, what can I say? It's, it's got something for everyone. Guys, this has been the Cloudport T8 overview video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really impressed with it. If you want to find out more, visit our website. Uh, you can see it on there. Also, uh, be sure to keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest we're getting into now as well. We're going to be sharing some cool photos on there. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. If you like this kind of video content, you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're uploading three, four videos a week, and we'll post them on Facebook, Twitter, and, and all those great channels as well, just so you can see when we upload them. Uh, thanks again. We'll see.